Hey guys, Dan back here at the Mark IV build. Today I'm going to show you how to install the brake reservoir as well as run your brake lines. First thing we're going to do is mount our stainless reservoir. So find that in your kit, unpack it. You'll notice that there's an L bracket included with it. Hold that up to the reservoir and you want to go basically right to the upper right hand side of this large opening here in our firewall right above the pedal box assembly. You want to make sure to keep this as level to the car as possible and you want to make sure that this cap does not go above the three quarter tube otherwise you won't be able to close your hood later on. Once you go ahead and find a good spot for it, hold the L bracket in place, remove the stainless reservoir, grab a sharpie and mark your two holes. Now, using a couple of the self-tapping screws that come with the kit, drill through and get the holes and mount your L bracket. Now with the bracket in place, mount the reservoir to the bracket with the bolts that were supplied with the reservoir. From here, you'll notice that you received an assortment of fittings that go into the bottom of the reservoir. For this case, we're gonna choose the 90 degree elbow Spin that and tighten it into place. From there, we can mark the 5 ace hole that we need to drill through the firewall in order to get the hose from the reservoir to the master cylinders. With everything marked, go ahead and drill the 5 ace hole to pass the hose through. Make sure when you're done drilling the hole to use a round file to deburr the sides of the hole so it does not cut into the rubber tube. From here, we're going to need to install the banjo fittings onto the master cylinders. Now these banjo fittings are very similar to the ones that we do on brake calipers where they have the banjo bolt, a crush washer, you then slide that on to the banjo fitting itself, another crush washer to go on the bottom, and then this whole thing will thread into the rearmost port on the Willwood master cylinders. Now we're going to need to install the T-fitting into the main line. So right about part way in between these two mounting bosses on the top of the pedal box, <coughs> go ahead and put in the T, mark it with a razor blade, cut the hose, and install the T. Now do the same thing for the first master cylinder. And now we're going to do the same thing for the second master cylinder. Now in order to keep the hose out of the working mechanism of the pedal, we're going to take two of the insulated clamps and two of the Allen bolts 
and screw those into these two ports here to keep it out of the way. With the brake reservoir now installed, we're going to move on to installing our stainless steel brake lines that go from the hard lines to the calipers on all four corners. First things first, find the brake line mounting tab. And on the front brakes, we're going to put this in this little pocket that's in between the upper control arm and the end of the F panel. Line it up, mark your two holes, drill them out, and pop rivet the bracket into place. Now we need to install the brake line flex adapter into the mount. Slide the fitting into the mount, and take its retaining clip and slide it into the slot that's cut in it from the back side. Now we need to install the flex line. Take note that if your kit has the optional 11.65 inch rear brake package, you will receive two sets of line that look very similar. Make sure that you install the 20 inch length brake lines on the front and the 17 inch length brake lines on the rear. These lines are going to install on the caliper, just like the banjo bolts that we just did on the master cylinders. You'll take your banjo bolt, slide on a crush washer, put that through the banjo fitting, slide on a second crush washer, and tighten that whole assembly against the caliper. Screw the other side onto the adapter fitting that we've already mounted. From here, we need to grab one of the T-fittings and thread that in to the driver's side front brake line adapter. Make sure that you have the middle port facing the forward part of the vehicle. With the T-fitting now installed, we're ready to put in the first brake line. This is the one that's going to connect the left front wheel to the right front wheel. With the front line now bent, find the 3 16 insulated clamps, mark a couple of spots on the frame, drill through, and pop rivet the clamps to hold the brake line in place. Now we're going to need to bend and install the brake line that goes from the master cylinder down to the left front wheel. Go ahead and install it.
Now take note that on later generation Factory 5 MK4 complete kits, we did change the master cylinder sizing for the front and rear brakes. Some of your earlier kits are going to have dual three-quarter bore master cylinders. In that case, either the front brake lines can go to either of these master cylinders. In this case, we have a three-quarter bore front and five-eighths bore rear. So this front brake line is going to need to go to the three-quarter bore master. The five-eighths will be for the rear. All right, now we have to do the same thing on the rear brakes. Locate that same mounting tab. And we're gonna mount it on the three-quarter tube that goes in between the two by three and two by three that make up the main rear suspension frame rails. Find a good spot on that tube. Mark your holes. Drill them out and rivet the bracket to the frame. Now we need to find that same adapter and its retaining clamp. Slide the adapter into the bracket and the retaining clip from the back side. Now we grab our 17 inch rear brake line and the banjo bolt, slide on our crush washer, slide the bolt through the banjo fitting, the second crush washer, and thread that whole assembly into the caliper. The rear brake lines are going to install similar to the front, bending them around certain items to get them out of the way and tucked up against the frame. We'll also be using the same insulated clamps and pop rivet technique to affix them to the frame. Now take note that the rear T-fitting that we're installing here comes with the rear brake kit only and is not part of the standard complete kit. Make sure you go back through and double check any of the fittings that we've made to make sure they're tight before filling the system with brake fluid. With all the fittings tight and everything double checked, we're now ready to move on, fill the system with fluid and bleed the brakes. We'll see you next time.